Here we go into our second match of the day between Lehi Lepidoptera Leviathan and the Dimitri's Angels. First off for Lehi Lepidoptera, we have the Bamboozle Moth, Judgment, Front Lumberjack, Gatling, Mortar on lower deck, Quacha on the far right. Their ally, the GFA Flying Flounder, Mercury, paired with two Artemis, Light Flak, and Gatling Gun. For the opponents, Dimitri's Angels, we have Reborn. Hades this time for the Blue Mobula, paired with two Artemis, Gatling, and a Light Flak. And finally, the Snort Stoop Bop Stop, Blue Judgment, Lumberjack Center, Mercury Light Flak on the lower decks, Minotaur on the far right. And currently, Snort Stoop getting the bad end of the Bamboozle Moth. Red Team already initiating a good dual focus on the Blue Judgment. Removing most of their permanent health. And I think Bamboozle Moth going to be able to get a kill here. Uh, but the re the uh, Flying Flounder goes down to the Reborn. And if Bamboozle Moth wants to get a kill, they're going to have to do it quick because this is Blue's spawn point. So if uh, they're unable to kill Reborn in, like, let's say the next five seconds, Blue Judgment's going to spawn back in and Bamboozle Moth is going to get dual teamed. Currently, armor going down for the Bamboozle Moth first. Artemis Shot's coming in. Not too much explosive damage. Snort Stoop and Flying Flounder spawning back in, but unfortunately, Flying Flounder is on the opposite side of the map. However, I don't think Reborn really, need, really needs the help. And they do get second point for their team. Uh, one of the advantages, you saw the first kill did go to Lehi Lepidoptera. One of the advantages of the Judgment build that specifically... Lehi Lepidopter has been bringing Bamboozle Moth is that they do have the Mortar on the lower deck. So once they're able to close the distance, they can pretty much out damage any other ship in the game. Uh, and you saw them, but that's why Red Team went for that very aggressive charge at the very start of the match. Is because once they close it, once they're able to utilize that Mortar, they will get the first kill. Uh, it's all but guaranteed. As now Bamboozle Moth has spawned back in. Where's the Bamboozle Moth? Spawning in low. We might see more of a long-range engagement, uh, which was my... Looking at the lobby before the game, that was my expectation. Two Judgments, two Mobulas. The assumption is it's going to be a long-range fight. However, the Snort Stoop has a lot more long-range firepower. You know, I'm talking about the Mortar, how it gives them all this close-range killing power, but... The trade-off for bringing that Mortar is that they lose a little bit of long-range potential. So I think Red Team's Lehi Lepidopter are probably going to continue to play this aggressively. Although the Flying Flounder may be getting a little too aggressive, losing her armor before Bamboozle Moth is even really in the fight. Big connections on the Flying Flounder. They're able to rebuild their armor, but they lost the Balloon. It goes down again, and Flying Flounder proving to be a bit of a liability. Uh, because the Bamboozle Moth only has that Lumberjack to engage at range, Dimitri's Angels are effect can effectively completely ignore the Bamboozle Moth, which lets them get a free dual focus on the Ally Mobula. And that's been, uh, that's probably going to continue to be a problem if Lucky Lepidopter just goes for these frontal charges without applying any sort of, of tactical advantage. And Bamboozle Moth certainly going to go down here for a fourth point. These first two fights going very well for Dimitri's Angels, not going very well for Lehi Lepidoptera. I would really, I would like to see them utilize the terrain a little bit more, maybe coming from the south, uh, because again, they just they don't have the 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 medium to long range firepower to contest the Dimitri's Angels. And unlike in the previous game where we saw the the fancy Gopniks go for that frontal charge. Judgment is not a fast ship. It's not going to be able to close the distance in the same way that a Shriker or a Goldfish can. So I just I don't think the strategy is going to work again. As we do see slightly split spawns from Red Team. Flying Flounder spawning behind the Archid Mountain. Bamboozamoth taking a more center, uh, center red spawn location. And again, we'll see what they... What they decide to do here, currently they're just move, once again moving towards center map. Bamboozle Moth already spotted. Flying Flounder looks like position is concealed by the cloud, so it's possible 
that we might be able to get an ambush or like a Lepidoptera. Let's see how quickly Blue Team gets the spot in a Flying Flounder. Flying Flounder currently visible. There's the spot, so whatever the sneaky play they were going for, not going to work. Reborn rising up to contest the Red Mobula as we see dual focus from Lahia Lepidoptera. No spot, unfortunately, on the Blue Mobula, so Bamboozle Moth not able to really get any Lumberjack shots, which is pretty unfortunate. And I think that's why Flying Flounder is moving forward, is because they're trying to get a spot for their ally, but again, they're exposing themselves so early on. Like, Bamboozle Moth, yes, they're going to they get Lumberjack shots. They knock out the Balloon of the Snorters Tube, but Flying Flounder is already dying. Armor's going to go down here as the Gatling comes into effect from Reborn. They're targeting the Reborn. Flying Flounder might be able to get the armor first. No, both Mobulas losing the armor simultaneously. Bamboozle Moth targeting the Reborn, but I think Flying Flounder going to be the one that dies first. Uh, just moving in so early, they wanted to get that spot in the Reborn. But again, you have another fight where the Bamboozle Moth gets completely ignore ignored by Blue Team. And a fast, fast game for Dimitri's Angels. They are up 2-0 in our round-robin phase.